Hi, this is Amy from Stress-Free Math for Kids, and I'm here today to tell you about my absolute favorite math game. I've already written about this one on the website, but I just wanted to show it to you because it is my favorite game. Whenever I'm looking for math games, I really don't like going to teacher stores because the games that are made for the classroom, while they'll practice skills, they're really boring usually, and they're not really fun to play. And I like games that are fun to play, where the kids are having so much fun, they want to play, they ask you to play, and they don't even realize how much math they're learning. So it's hard to find that balance between really fun but also solid math skills. This one is an award winner for all those things. It is so fun that my family has taken this home and played for hours even until midnight. You can play with teenagers. Everybody likes it and they're having such a great time that the amount of math skills that you're doing is just completely phenomenal that it's taking place in such a fun game. And the reason I got it is because it did win so many awards. I got it from Amazon and it had won six awards, had amazing reviews, so I said, let's try this one. And it totally exceeded my expectations. This game is a little more complicated to explain in a long video, so I'm gonna refer you back to the website for more instructions on how we'd use this for instruction and for a child. It's actually a game I use for assessment with new students almost every time. But I just wanted to show it to you because it is so super cool. So this game has the numbers in a spiral, starting at 1 and going up to 101, and they're all color-coded. So if you're just playing for fun, you don't have to get too much into what that is, but if you're playing for an assessment or you're playing to instruct a child, I ask them, what do you think the color coding means? And it tells me so much about their mathematical thinking when they start explaining what they think it means. What it means, and you can see right here, are the factors. Twos are orange, threes are green, blues are five, purples are seven, reds are prime numbers. Prime and composite numbers is a skill that's taught in fifth grade, and it's usually just taught as something for kids to memorize. A prime number is a number that only has a factor of one in itself. Composite numbers have other factors. Kids mix them up all the time. They can't remember what that is. After they've played this game once, they can tell you what a prime number is. The numbers are color-coded to make your multiplication easier as you're multiplying in the game. They help you with the operations. Every time you land on a red, which is a prime number, you get a prime climb card. These are usually advantages. Play this card on an opponent. On their next turn, they may only subtract or divide. There's a couple in there that are not advantages, just to keep the game interesting, but most of them are advantages, and so you're going to want to land on those prime numbers. Of course, one of the discussions we'll have with kids is that the 2, 3, 5, and 7 are also prime numbers, but they're not read in the game because they're used as the factors of other numbers. I'll go into that more on the website. But the gameplay is pretty simple. You have two 10-sided dice. They're really cool dice that have all your digits from 0 to 9. You roll both dice, 4 and 7. You're going to use both dice on your turn, but one at a time. The only thing that confuses kids a lot of times is that you're not um, using the dice together, you're using them one at a time with the number you're on. And you can use any operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. With some strategy, this game can actually take a really long time. I have seen kids use incredible strategy to advance themselves and to get their opponents back. Your goal is to get both of your pawns to the 101, keep the other opponents from, keep your opponents from making it, kind of like sorry, but with a great math twist. Lots of math going on in this game. Lots of fun going on in this game. Highly recommend. As I said, come to my website, stressfreemathforkids.com. I go into a lot more detail about how you can use this game to teach and even to assess kids. It's a great one, but I highly recommend it even for your next family fun game night.